In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to upgrade the iOS of a Cisco switch. Here I am using a 3750 12S switch, but this can be applicable to any other Cisco switches. Since this is a fiber optic switch, all these connections are fiber optic connections. So you can use a single mode or multi-mode connection here. But to put the ethernet cable, I used a thousand base T, T mean twisted pair optics. So I'm going to plug in my cable here. So let's go to the terminal and uh, find out how we can upgrade the iOS of this image. I have booted the switch here. Since this is a factory default switch, it is asking me to configure since the beginning. Let's uh, say no here. I want to configure it using a CLI. This is a kind of new switch. So I go into enable mode, no password. Show version. Let's look at the version here. Here you can find out what is the image I'm using here. This is a C3750 IP service image. Show, show flash. You can see the images here. What I, uh, what I have to do is I have to delete this image and put the new image here. Before I delete this image, I'm going to copy this image to my computer first, TFTP server. So to be able to do this iOS upgrade, you need to have some initial configuration and you need to have connection between your computer and the switch. So let's look at show IP int, IP int brief and you have no IP address to the switch. The first step what you have to do is you need to configure a VLAN and a management IP. Conf t int VLAN 225 name management. Before you assign the IP you need to go into the interface. Int VLAN 225 IP address and then no no shot and write mem so you are there so so IP int brief so you have the VLAN here it is up status up but the protocol is down so let's configure the port to this VLAN. I'm going to configure the IP to the interface. Which one? This should be the one. Media status enabled. Properties. Okay, I have the IP configured here. So it says 150, that's the IP of this computer, 100 is the switch. So IP address is now configured on the Ethernet interface. Let's go and change the VLAN for the port. Right now I have connected this connection to port 12. So go to CONT int one one zero twelve switch for access VLAN two to five no shut and write mem show int show in show in status so now it is connected here and let's look at the SVI show IP int brief if you look at here 
this is up and up in the past the status was up for the vlan and the protocol was down when you bring up one port in that svi in that vlan then the protocol also will be up so let's try to ping the computer from the switch ping ping 192, 168, 1.150. Yep. I can uh, pink now. Yeah. It's 100% success. Let's open up the command prompt in the computer and then ping the switch I as we are. Ping. 192, 168, 1.100, yes. So I have both way communication between the computer and the switch. And let's look at, open up my TFTP server here. So this is my TFTP server. So let's try to use this one and see what happens. Flash, copy, flash, TF, TP, source file name is this one. Remote force is found at 92. 68 1.150 that's the image I want there okay permission denied you are opening TFTP let's change the folder here to my Samsung Samsung Academy TFTP settings. Let's try again. One dot one fifty. Yes. Now the transfer is happening because the folder I was trying to transfer has some permission issue so be careful with that so let's wait until this complete okay so so now the image have been copied you can see it took about 33 seconds to copy this image so this is the image file I'm going to copy from here copy here I'm going to go to my Samsung Cisco Academy TFTP I'm going to okay I have the image already here so somehow I already put the image here so let's I have I want advanced IP services image here so what I have to do is I need to delete this image first I'm going to use the command the delete force recursive flash this is the image I want to delete. Okay, the image is gone. Flash, as you see now, there is no image here. Now you have to copy the image from your TFTP server. Before, when you copy from Flash to TFTP, you put Flash first, TFTP second. Now you are copying the other way around, so you put 
TFTP first that's from to flash okay and uh, address or, or name of remote host 192.168.1.150 the name of the file and the go and look at this is the file I want I copy here and paste it here dot bin okay I use the same file name okay now you see it is loading the image to the switch via the VLAN 225 so let's wait for the image to copy so while the image is getting transferred you can see your TFTP server doing the work here and it has completed 96 now 100% of the image transfer is done so now you can see the difference between these two images so it took much longer to transfer this the bigger IP services image sometime if your switch has a bigger flash memory you can have multiple image in this one you cannot have because the flash memory is very limited so the free bytes is very limited here to have two images so now the image has been transferred look at the boot now show boot and if you see the boot it is saying it is booting from the old image so it's going to look at the old image when you try to boot the switch so you have to change the boot here T boot system switch all so that means set system image for all switch in the stack it can be on the stack so I will put all here flash and uh, my image name we know the image name we gave it here this is the image name okay so i have set the parameters here now look at the boot so boot now I have the boot set correctly right name okay now I can reload the switch the switch is loading it's finished loading now so let's uh, wait few seconds for the switch to load so now the switch completed the boot here it is. now it has my advanced IP services image okay this is how you update the image of a Cisco switch hope this video is going to be helpful for you to upgrade the iOS of your switches so please Go ahead and like subscribe and turn on the notification so you will get notified when i have the new videos also please don't forget to comment in the video so i know what you need what your questions are and what else you need for me to cover in my future videos thank you so much bye